What's up YouTube? Today I'm going to show you how I made this 3D animation. All right, so let's make the room first. Uh, first thing I did was grab a plane, scale it to make a floor, and then I added a cube, and then I adjusted to the size of the floor to kind of create this wall. And let's create this window. So first thing I'm gonna do is grab a cylinder, add a Boolean modifier to it to basically cut out a portion of the wall to make this uh, circular window. Then I extruded the sides to make kind of like the awning or the three-dimensional shape of the window that kind of comes out of the wall so that I can have a character standing on it. And then I duplicated it for the other side. Set up a quick camera here. Um, I'm making this for a reel, so it's gonna be a vertical video. So I'm just lining everything up here. And then let's go ahead and begin making the water. So I wanted this to kind of be like an aquarium. So I'm gonna use an ocean modifier on a plane to kind of create these waves or this effect of water, at least on the surface. You can check out my settings here on the right in the modifiers panel. Um, but essentially I just keyframed um, some displacement and then I added a quick HDRI. And then what I've been doing recently in my renders is adding an icosphere and actually just scaling it up to be bigger than the entire scene. And what this is gonna do is allow me to kind of contain the scene. And so I want the bottom of the ocean to be uh, dark. So no light gets in at the bottom. So I just made it black and this will cover the HDRI from lighting the bottom of the aquarium. And then I duplicated a cylinder, made it very thin and then added a glass texture and that's gonna be our window. Then I went ahead and began finishing up the aquarium walls. So I added a wall to both sides. And then I also added a roof, which you can see right here. And then I grabbed some textures. Um, I wanted this to be kind of like a stone texture, but it's gonna be really dark anyway. So it doesn't really matter what texture you, you use. Um, and then, you know, just adjusting the size of the water. I want the water to be at the very top of the roof. And then I added a shark model. We'll animate him later. Then I went ahead and grabbed a cube and I scaled it up and we're going to do some volumetrics work to kind of simulate that effect of an ocean or an aquarium. And so this is me just playing around and then also moving the shark around the scene to see how far we can actually see into the water and I adjust the settings accordingly. And then here I'm working on some fake caustic shaders and this is just going to allow for some really cool light effects just below the surface. And then I went ahead and grabbed a character from Mixamo and then I animated him to be looking into the glass. And from here, I'm just adjusting the position of the shark. I know I want the shark to swim by. So let's go ahead and start, you know, animating his position. I just used some simple keyframes for that. And then I went ahead and made sure that I got his tail moving. I used the NLA editor to kind of just stack the same animation over and over again. So it looked like his tail was moving continuously. Then I kind of adjusted the rotation and made sure that everything looked smooth while he was moving. So I played around with quite a few positions of the shark, but I wanted him to kind of be the main focus of the scene because you can't see the face of the character. Then I went ahead and made some fish, added those into the scene. I believe I duplicated it as well to make a smaller fish. Um, I realize now that the scene kind of feels empty, but I kind of just wanted to make something very fast. And so, you know, when you're rendering water as well, it's pretty intensive on your computer. So I didn't want to make the scene too complex. I just added a couple foreground elements like the seaweed, for example. And this was just a static model that I found online. I believe it was photo scanned and I didn't want to animate every single leaf. So I just went ahead and grabbed a displacement modifier and I threw it on to the seaweed. And then I animated the displacement of the Y and Z axis to kind of have this floating effect of the water kind of just subtly moving um, throughout the scene. And then when paired with the fish and the shark, it's starting to look like a realistic environment here. I'm just kind of playing around with things uh, here to dial in the settings and, you know, just continuously looking through the camera to make sure everything's right. And this is kind of what the scene's looking like. Uh, 
before it's rendered. And then lastly, I knew that I wanted the water to feel more realistic, so I created a particle system. And all that's gonna do is essentially create these, these little dust particles that you see in the ocean. If you've ever been diving, you'll notice that these are there. So yeah, I just created a sphere and made it kind of uh, bluish. And then I added this particle system that's dispersed throughout the water. So you can kind of see these particles floating down. It's all really to create, you know, an atmosphere um, and this, this kind of environment that feels a little more real, even though the character is quite cartoonish. Then lastly, I added some camera movement, just a slow push in on the character. And here is the final render once again. All right, that's pretty much it. Uh, if you wanna see more like these, let me know. Uh, leave a comment, drop a like. Uh, thanks again for watching.